hello i welcome you to this video in this video i'll be showing you how to combine rabbit family and specifically we'll be combining series of rabbit family to form this type of kitchen cabinet and at the end of this video you should be able to learn and be able to combine Revit family to get this kind of kitchen cabinet and without wasting your time let's get started so the first thing you will do is you need to open the families and the first family will open is this particular base cabinet so i'm going to go to open i'll hover my cursor on open and follow this arrow to family and click on the family then you go to casework double click on it then go to base cabinet double click, click on it and select the one that you want the base cabinet that you want and this is it here any of this can work let's use this one i'm going to click on open okay it's open at the background then the next thing i will open is the i'm going to open the counter top so i go to application menu over my cursor on open then go to family and go to casework then go to counter tops so click on it and you see different kinds of counter top this is the one i want to use and click open okay that is that then the next one i will open is the washan basin so i'm going to go to open family and i'll go to plumbing and architectural fixtures and sink then let's check them out okay i i want to use this let me use this particular one and click open okay so i have three things open now and the next thing is to open a new casework a new revit family that has not been used before and i hover my cursor on new then family and i am going to select casework and click open and that is it so i'm going to convert i'm going to change the project unit to millimeter go to manage tab change the project unit to millimeter and that is that and click ok go to the plan and you can see the depth see the width now let's change it to the project unit to millimeter and click ok and we will be using these parameters very soon and anyone you are loading make sure it's not a shared parameter if it's shared parameter uncheck it okay and i'm going to load it and close it at the same time we are not saving the changes So I'm going to drop it by the side. Then the next thing is, 
I'm going to load another family and I'm going to double click on casework and it is countertop and this is the one I want to use and click open now go to the ground floor and take notes of the parameters this is the length and this is the depth now let's load it into now what you want to do now is to make sure it's not a shared parameter so uncheck that shared parameter and load it into the project we are not saving the changes and here it is so i'm going to drop it by the side okay then the next thing is want to link the depth the parameters of these new families we have loaded into this particular one okay so if i select this one now and click on edit and the depth want to link the depth with the depth of this one so i click on this little button and select depth and click ok then for the width i click on this button and the width and click ok and for the height I'm going to create a new height and select this and type cabinet height and click OK. Click OK again and let's apply. Now you notice something that they are now it now matches with this one can you see it matches with this let's drop it here first and we select this one then you have seen the length before so we are going to mesh we are going to link the length with the width of what we have here so i select this button and merge it with the width and click on edit and the depth will also be matched with the depth click ok and the height will also be matched with the height and click ok then for the countertop material We'll click on new and name it as counter top material and click OK click OK and for the counter thickness we are going to create new counter thickness and click ok and click ok and click ok again and here it is now we want to align it together you can see that this is also the same size as this so I'm going to align it now. I pick my align tool and this one has center, this one has center. So we align this, the two center together and lock it. Then want to align the, the back to back and lock it. Then this one has no center. So we are going to align the side, align the back to the back and lock it 
and align this end to this end and lock it as well now let's see it in 3d let's see it in shaded form okay if i decide to change the parameter now if i decide to adjust the height let's say i make the height to be 1200 what is going to happen okay you can see now that the height of the cabinet and the height of the countertop are not together they are not locked together i will go to family types and add a, form, a formula to it that is the cabinet height will be equals to height minus counter top counter thickness and click apply and click ok now you can see that they are, they are together now so what is left now is to place our wash and basin on it so i'm going to open a wash and basin family we'll go to plumbing then we'll go to architectural we'll go to fixtures go to sinks and this is the one i want to use i click open so what we want to do now is we want to place this wash and basin inside that countertop and we want to we want this thing to create a hole because a, a hole needs to be created there and for us to be able to do that we are going to open a new family again and select new family and the family we want to create now is generic face base look for generic okay face base and click open and change the project unit to millimeter and click ok click ok again so what we'll do now is we will load that will load that um, sink we'll load it into the new family we have just opened we'll load it into family 2 and here it is and let me align the back to this and lock it and the center to center and lock it okay now what we want to do now is we want to create a void if you look at it now okay before we create a void let's bring this one down let's bring it down edit the height should be zero and click apply so that it will come down all right so it has come down now and it's staying on the 
model and that is what we want so the next thing we'll do now is we want to open it and if you look at the face we cannot see we cannot see the the outline of this of that model let's try the let's try if we convert it to wireframe we still cannot see it okay even though we convert it to wireframe we cannot see it. so what we do is let's edit this family again and select this particular one and go to visibility graphics edit and check this so that we can see it on the plan and click ok let's see if we can see it now okay you can see the outline now now let's load it into the project now override the existing one and let's see it on the plan okay okay let's use wireframe we cannot see it now so i'm going to pick create I will select void, void extrusion, and pick line, and make sure it's locked so that as you are picking the line, it is locked immediately. Okay. Let's check. Okay, this is 6 mm so let's offset it i pick and i'll offset it by 6 and i select this one i select this Select this, select this, let me delete this, and let's trim it, Okay, it's not locked. Let's try and lock it. Okay, they are locked together now. I can finish it. And I go to 3D. Let me stretch it down a little bit. And I want you to cut this model. So I'm going to select cut. Select this one. And select that void and let's look at it in shaded form now you will see that 
it has caught the model now can you see it has caught the model okay so what we do now is to load it into our first project can you see the hole we are going to load it into our first project load Ooh. okay we are going to load it into this project and i go to top and let me toggle it by pressing on the space bar and anywhere i drop it it's going to open the model there let's save our work let's save it as as kitchen cabinet let me add my name to it and on the backup the backup should be one just one and you can see it here if i like i can align the back let me use align i can align the back to the counter and lock it and you can see very nice kitchen cabinet with wash and basin so that is how you can create wash and basin with cabinet you can merge several families in revit and i hope this video helps you if it does don't forget to give me a video testimonial Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.